all animals. Zoo Tiger takes interest in woman's baby bump. This video appears to show a pregnant woman, Natasha Hanchu, sharing a cute interaction with a female tiger at the Potawatomi Zoo in Indiana. Separated by a wall of glass, it appears Morgana the tiger notices Natasha's baby bump and wants to get closer to it. As you can see in the video, Natasha and her cousin Brittany seem to think that the tiger is having some sort of connection with the baby. A universal appreciation across species for maternity? Or the recognition of life in its most vulnerable state? What a beautiful thought. It's one that a few users echoed on Facebook. Carmen wrote, nature knows to honor birth and motherhood. Missy wrote, the tiger can smell her breast milk too. So amazing. Taryn wrote, tiger respects the beautiful mother. Heart emoji, heart emoji. Even the zoo chimed in saying, this is why the zoo is here, to help make connections to nature. Well, hold on a minute. Is that why the zoo is here? Because Morgana the tiger was born at the Columbus Zoo four years ago and has never been outside her enclosure, let alone been in touch with nature. Furthermore, she's a full-grown tiger. So take the glass wall out of the way and this video probably doesn't turn out so cute. User Michael Dameron writes, that tiger wants two snacks for the price of one, not snuggles, lol. Yeah, that's what we're thinking too. In January, an orangutan was filmed kissing a pregnant woman's belly through a glass wall too. But an orangutan and a tiger are two very different animals with two very different appetites. Just saying. The video has racked up 778,000 Facebook views so far. So we'd like to know what you think. Is this a case of nature recognizing nature or just an easy meal in our sights? Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. You want to know the nature of tigers at zoos? Tiger tragedy strikes British Zoo. A tiger killed a zookeeper in the UK on Monday in an incident the zoo described as a freak accident. Zookeeper Rosa King was mauled to death by one of the Hammerton Zoo Park's four tigers when the big cat somehow got into a part of their enclosure where she was working. Witnesses said zoo staff tried to distract the beast by throwing meat into the enclosure and shouting but it didn't work. Families visiting the zoo said they feared there was a tiger on the loose and so they ran for their lives. The zoo said the tiger did not escape from the tiger enclosure at any time. The zoo said King's death was a freak accident and that it was investigating how the tiger managed to get into the same part of the enclosure as her at the same time. Rosa King was 33 years old. Relatives of the zookeeper said she loved tigers and her death was a tragedy. Woman tries to pet tiger and almost loses fingers in the process. This woman thought she could pet a tiger after sneaking into a zoo in Nebraska. Reports are suggesting she may have been drunk or high on drugs at the time. At around 4 a.m. on November 1st, 33-year-old Jacqueline Ede somehow managed to sneak into Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo. She made her way over to the cat complex, found the tiger enclosures, and crept over to their cages. Zoo staff believe Ede caught the attention of Mai, an 18-year-old three-legged Malayan tiger. Mai lost her leg to a poaching trap when she was two, so she's had to rely on humans to take care of her throughout her life. Because of that, her handlers say she's usually pretty friendly around people. But Mai, like most of us, didn't seem to appreciate a stranger breaking into her home at night. When Ede stuck her left hand in the tiger pen, the tiger reportedly bit her pretty badly causing severe trauma that almost cost Ede bits of her fingers. Friend rushed the bleeding Ede to the hospital. Ede's been cited by police for criminal trespassing. Turns out, this is just the latest in a string of run-ins she's had with the law. She's received criminal convictions for drunk driving, graffiti, disturbing the peace, obstruction of justice, and shoplifting this year alone. Guess now she can add pissing off a tiger to that colorful rap sheet. Young man killed by tiger after falling into enclosure at New Delhi Zoo. Masood Khan decided to spend Tuesday at the New Delhi Zoo and found himself fascinated by Vijay, a rare white tiger. Witnesses say the young man slipped and fell, possibly while trying to take a picture. Zoo officials, however, said Mr. Khan may have been drinking and may have jumped into the enclosure. Eyewitnesses said the tiger ran up to his uninvited guest before a tense 15-minute stare-down began as the animal sized up the situation. 
And some say things may not have escalated had onlookers not tried to frighten the tiger off by screaming at it and pelting it with rocks. Finally, the tiger pounced on the unfortunate young man using its powerful jaws to drag him away by the neck. Here's some pretty terrifying footage. Zoo officials say there were tranquilizer guns located some 350 feet from the tiger enclosure, but they were unable to get to them in time. Final verdict, tigers are powerful killing machines and zoos have fences for a reason. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Tiger mauls zookeeper after she walks into enclosure. 38-year-old zookeeper Stacy Conweiser, who was known fondly as the Tiger Whisperer among staff at the Palm Beach Zoo, may have overestimated her ability to handle the tigers at the Florida exhibit she oversees. On April 22nd, shortly before 2 p.m., Conweiser was checking on a male Malayan tiger before putting on a routine show for the public called Tiger Talk. Zoo officials said Conweiser entered a night house designated for the tigers to eat and sleep, which was clearly marked as accessible to the tigers. Once in, Conweiser was attacked by one of the male Malayan tigers. A code red was immediately initiated by the zoo staff and the tiger was shot with a tranquilizer. Her colleagues were unable to aid her until the big cat fell asleep. When he finally did, they had her airlifted to a nearby area hospital, where she was pronounced dead. The zoo officials do not yet know why Stacy Conweiser went into the tiger enclosure, but said five separate investigations are underway to figure out what happened. Conweiser had worked with the endangered Malayan tigers for three years until her death. Her husband Jeremy is also a staff member at the Palm Beach Zoo.